Hey, welcome to the Hard Knocks Guitar Shop. I'm Will Kelly, luthier and monthly repair columnist for Vintage Guitar Magazine. I get a lot of customers that bring their stock instruments into my shop looking for a great way to upgrade the sound and tone that they have. The easiest way that I know how to do this is to install a pre-wired pickguard assembly and drop it straight into your guitar. It takes less than 30 minutes with a few basic tools and it's a great way to make a significant difference. I prefer to use Mojo pre-wired pickup assemblies in my projects. The wiring is always exceptional and I know that they're going to use the best components available and I can count on that. It makes my life easier and my customers happier. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install your own pre-wired Mojo pickguard assembly into your existing stock S-type guitar. It's going to take you about 30 minutes, take a few basic tools and a little bit of solder. So let's go ahead and get started with this, okay? Here are some basic tools that you're going to need in order to swap out your current pit guard assembly for a new Mojo pre-wired assembly. You'll need a soldering iron, preferably between 15 and 30 watts, and some 6040 rosin core solder. Do not use acid core solder on this, it's important. Then you're going to need a pair of diagonal cutters, a half inch boxed in wrench, also a half inch deep well socket will work as well, and then a number three Phillips head screwdriver. That's all you're going to need for this. Alright, we've gone ahead and removed the strings from the guitar, as well as the screws that hold the pick guard onto the body. I also want you to go ahead and remove the two screws that hold the output jack plate on as well. You'll see why in a moment. Find a small plastic container or even an ice cube tray to hold your small screws and parts. That way everything will be there when you get ready to reassemble the guitar. Alright, there are three wires that are still holding on the pick guard assembly to the body. One is the ground wire that comes from the tremolo claw to a casing ground right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to clip that as close as we can to the casing. And then the second two wires that we have are the output hot and ground coming from the uh, volume control. So we're going to go ahead and snip those as close as we can as well. This frees up the output jack. We're going to set this to the In side. In order to get the plastic hardware off of the pick guard assembly itself, use either a piece of leather string or even a shoelace will work as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the lace and we're going to thread it slightly under the plastic hardware and pull up and it comes right off without damaging either the pick guard or the plastic hardware itself. So you loop it around the knob, pop it up and it comes right off. So we're going to go ahead and remove the rest of the plastic hardware on the old pick guard assembly and we're going to set that to the side. It even works with the pickup selector switch knob. Just tighten it around there, pop it up and it comes right off. We're going to go ahead and start removing or disassembling the new Mojo pre-wired assembly. Take your half inch boxed in wrench and loosen the control nuts that hold the potentiometers onto the pick guard. Go ahead and remove those. Alright, once we remove these, then we're going to go ahead and loosen the screws that hold on the pickup selector switch to the uh, wooden mojo guard as well. So we'll take our number three Phillips head screwdriver and remove these two screws. Once again, being careful to save everything you take off so that you don't lose anything when it comes time to reassemble. And then we're going to go ahead and loosen all the screws that hold the uh, pickups onto the plate as well. Then I'll show you what we do with the rest. I've loosened all the screws holding the individual pickups to the guard plate, as well as all the nuts and screws holding the selector switch. So we should be able to just lift this off very easily. And there you go. There's your pre-wired assembly. And now what we're going to do is repeat the same procedure on our old pick guard assembly to separate the pick guard plate from the old electronic. So we've gotten both the old pick guard assembly loosened away from the pick guard and the new Mojo pick guard assembly loosened away from the wooden placard. And then in essence what we're going to do is simply swap out plates. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we take the old pick guard covers from the old pickup assembly and replace them onto the new Mojo assembly. If yours don't fit, feel free to order some more from the Mojo catalog. They will fit exactly. So once we've swapped out the pickup covers, this is the wooden Mojo placard. We're going to go ahead and put that on top of the old pickguard assembly with the nuts and screws and go ahead and reattach all that so we can safely store that away. Then we take the old pickguard 
and we're going to replace that on top of the new Mojo pre-wired assembly. Little word of warning though, if your guitar has many potentiometers, as most imports do, you may find that the holes in your pick guard are too small for the new Mojo full-size components. Take a 3 8 inch drill bit, wrap a little bit of tape around the middle of it so that it doesn't cut your hand, and then you can easily hand ream this soft plastic to get the hole large enough for the new potentiometers to pass through it. Yours may fit. Either way, just wanted you to be aware that that may be a problem. And then we just simply lay the old guard on top of the new Mojo components, and we should be really good to go here. So what I'm going to do is reattach all the screws, and then we'll be uh, rewiring the guitar shortly. Okay, now we've got our pre-wired Mojo assembly installed on our old pick guard. Take a soft towel or a pad, something to protect your guitar's finish. Go ahead and lay that down on top of the guitar. Alright, so we're going to take the pick guard. First thing we're going to do, there are three wires to connect. The hot and the ground wire coming from the output jack to the main volume control. And then the other wire is the ground wire coming from the tremolo claw to the ground casing on one of the potentiometers. So all we're going to do is merely solder this ground wire right here onto a good grounding point. That could be the exterior of any one of these control casings here. Okay. So this one, if you'll notice, has already got a ground pull right here. So we're just going to go ahead and heat that a little bit. Get the solder a little bit wet. And that's it. You don't want to put too much heat on it because that can damage components. Alright, so the ground wire is attached. Now what we're going to do is gently lift up the pick guard, pull the pad out, you take your hot and your ground lead, fish this through the little channel between the two cavities, the control cavity and the output jack cavity. When you got that, just lightly pull, and then you'll see your pick guard just slide right into place. And that's it. So now we're going to wire the output jack, and then we should be good to restring and start playing. Okay, so we've gone ahead and got the pick guard back on, and now all we have to do is hook the ground and the hot wire coming from the pick guard assembly to our output jack. So let's take a pad, something to protect the finish again. And then what we're going to do is simply attach these two wires. The ground goes to the terminal that touches the barrel. Okay, so we've got the output jack plate reattached. One other thing. When you're putting all the screws back together again, uh, you know, and putting the guitar, you're going to have to set the pickup heights. So what I recommend, just for a preliminary height, is about a sixteenth of an inch, and then an eighth of an inch, and an eighth of an inch. And that's just a preliminary setup until we can get some professional adjustment going, which we'll detail in another video segment for you. Okay, we've got the strings back on. We've got our new Mojo pre-wired pickup assembly attached to our old pick guard, dropped right into the guitar in less than 30 minutes with a few basic tools. And that's that simple. Sounds great. Well, I'm Will Kelly. And this is the Hard Knocks Guitar Shop.